This piece is called O Fortuna Sandy Spins, and it is again looking at these two amusement park rides, one the Jetstar roller coaster and Coney Island's Wonder Wheel. Uh, and it takes, it looks at the night that uh, Superstorm Sandy hit the shore and all of these rides are built up of data from both of these locations. This is Seaside Heights and this is Coney Island. And so this is a timeline and the times you can sort of see here it says 8 o'clock, down here it says 10 o'clock and on this timeline you are also seeing a yellow line that indicates the sunrise. So this is also showing you when the sun rises and when it's going to set. And so this timeline basically traces the development of Sandy as it hit the, hit the, hit the shore. So the extremes, for example, we have here a 29-foot wave at around, eight, at, at, at around 6 p.m. On this roller coaster are these rides, and these rides are um, boats slash submarines. Here you have Coney Island. And Coney Island, um, again, you have a mixture of the dark blue being wind speed and the light blue being wind gust. And these green boats that you see indicate the barometric pressure. The other side is this Wheel of Fortune. And this Wheel of Fortune is um, indicating kind of takes this idea of, you know, us playing with weather and us in particularly starting to more and more play with weather if we don't really uh, react and do anything about um, these rising sea level conditions. If things really drastically change the way that they are predicted to change and how do we negotiate our fantasy of living by the ocean with this new reality? Will we build things on rafts? Will, how, how will we actually renegotiate our relationship to the to the coastline and also thinking of the coastline as this place of escape where we have gone for many, many years for where these amusement parks were built in order to escape the city.